A reading from the letter to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call, what are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of His power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of His great might which He worked in Christ, raising Him from the dead, and seating Him at His right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And He put all things beneath His feet, and gave Him as head over all things to the church, which is His body, the fullness of the One who fills all things in every way. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading on the Solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord into Heaven is taken from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. We are reflecting on the power from above for our mission here below. And in the first reading, the Acts of the Apostles depicts to us how Jesus, the risen one, ascended into heaven and there, seated at the right hand of the Father, will send the power called the Holy Spirit to the disciples here on earth. Not for them to be wielders of power, not for them to go around with brute force, no. The power from on high will enable these weak, simple, and sinful human beings to become missionaries, witnesses of Christ to the ends of the earth. We need that power from above, from the risen Lord, who sits at the right hand of the Father, in order to transform us human beings into witnesses of the gospel. In the second reading, St. Paul affirms the truth about the ascension of Christ. He enters the heavenly realm, and there he is given by God the Father all power and authority. This is expressed by that image of being seated at the right hand of the Father. It depicts authority and power. And according to St. Paul, he is given full authority, full power. He is above all principality, above all human authorities. And he possesses the name that is above all other names. Now, you cannot go beyond the authority, the glory of Jesus, who now enters heaven. But again, we ask the question, what is the use of that for us? Okay, Jesus gets his reward. After working hard here on earth, he deserves to be there with the Father in heaven. And lucky Jesus, he now shares in the power and authority of God. But again, the power and authority of Jesus is not self-serving. Even in heaven, his power and authority are those of a servant. And so, in heaven, according to St. Paul, Jesus the risen one, seated at the right hand of the Father, will distribute gifts to us, especially to those who belong to the church. The gifts that we call charisms, the gifts that will enable us and will equip us to serve. There are many gifts that come from above. 
We should not claim them as our own. We should not be proud about those gifts. They are the gifts of the one who ascended into heaven so that here on earth we can serve well. Aside from the charisms for ministry, the risen Lord also gives us, according to St. Paul, wisdom, insight, so that we can appreciate this great honor and privilege that we have received from the risen Lord. Again, the risen Lord enables us to participate in His power. But what type of power? Power to serve wisely here on earth.